looks quite light at the moment, but there's a couple of dark clouds not too far away. But from what I'm hearing is, uh, that you, you, I think you think there's going to be quite a few changes to slicks. We could we could see that. I mean, we'll know if one person does, everybody will. It'll be it'll either be that's what it is, or it'll be crazy on the. Um, and they'll all be watching Aslan Shah. Absolutely, they'll all be watching Aslan Shah. They'll all be watching the local riders. Um, but it's quite wet there. Uh, but if you keep the heat into the slick, if you're able to keep that the heat into the slick, it could perhaps work in these conditions like it's right on the cusp of a of a slick now you would go with the wet the riders now will want to go with the wet but if it doesn't rain with that track temperature uh, another five minutes here uh, I, I believe that um, the person that wins this race if they put a slick on they'll be on a slick okay okay we'll be going down to wheeling in just a moment but i suspect the riders are a little bit more distracted than usual uh, then won't be so relaxed because they'll be worrying about the, the track conditions. They'll be trying to become weather forecasters and the busiest man in the whole area will be Dunlop. Kentaro Kobayashi from Dunlop is, uh, well, this is where he earns his big bucks. <laughs> being, a, being a mind reader. Now then, let's pop down to Wheeling and let's see what she can tell us about track conditions down there and maybe get some uh, inside intelligence from the riders what they think after that um, first lap. All right, thank you, Stephen. Des. I am down here on the 1,000cc grid with Guan Mingheng, the cloud of the course. Mingheng, can you share with us why has it been declared a wet race, although right now we look at the grid, it's not raining. Oh, yeah, you can see now the rain is coming down now. You know, I went out the track just now, and I think it was like maybe 65% wet, whole track. Only maybe about 35% uh, dry back at the 9, 10, and 11. So we have to declare wet because it's... It's more, it's dangerous for the rider to use slick because they only have two choices, either using the slick or the rain. So it's not up to the team to choose whether they want to use slick or rain. So it's going to be uh, exciting and see, you know, who's going to choose the, the correct tyres. <laughs> In your option, what advice would you give the riders then now? Because as you say, they have the option of using wet and also slick. Okay, I think the best option now is to get to use the rain tyre because the rain is coming down now, you can feel the rain. So the race is 11 laps, so I think if fully rain, I think the tyre the would last maybe like maybe 8 or 9 laps. I think it would be alright to use the rain tyres. But I can see all of them fixing uh, rain tyre now. Alright, so we're going to let Meng Heng continue with his job. Thank you, Thank you so much Meng Heng for a little comment. As we see, the rain is pouring but not as heavy and the track temperature still remains hot. So we're going to take a look and see what are the options for these top teams because tyre management will be crucial this race. Back to Des and Steve in the studio. Terrific interview, Kwon Meng Heng. We've had him in the commentary box, but he's a former rider, he's a former team manager, he's clerk of the course now. Would you be listening to that man, Steve Martin? I, I would listen to him because he's been there and done that with everything. And he's done a, done the odd lap around this Sepang circuit. And uh, he's also got the um, the uh, the nice little um, possibility of being down there on the grid and feeling that the rain is coming down as well. So with everything that he said, uh, he's also been a team manager. I would probably go with what he said. OK, let's see if the riders are going to be listening to Kwon Meng Heng. We're going back down to Wheeling. I think she's with uh, Ahmad Yudhisthira. Let's see what they've done with the tyres. All right, back with me on the grid, this time with Ama Yudhisthira. Yudhis, the rain has made this entire race a very complicated one. How are you doing right now? Yeah, just, just uh, try step by step, lap by lap, because uh, I don't have uh, experience in this track with, with the wet condition. Also with the bike, this is the first time for me, use a wet tire. And I just, I just need a more, more run with the other, other rider, maybe like uh, Azran and Jahwan, maybe he will know about this track. Maybe I can follow for beginning lap. So just now, all riders did manage to get a sighting lap when you came out. How was the track conditions towards the south side? Because we heard it was only wet about 65%. Yeah, the 
the other corner have some dry and some wet but I looking uh, almost already use a wet tire the, that's why I, I also use a wet tire then I hope uh, maybe Moiji to we for if a heavy rain come then just concentration with the wet tire because uh, if some dry and some wet is a complicated situation then difficult to control with the tire. All right, thank you so much for the detailed update, Yudis, and good luck for the second race. And an update, the umbrellas are starting to come out because the raindrops are getting larger here on the grid. So we're going to move on to try to see who we can talk to. We're going to try to speak to Yuki Ito to see if he can give us a quick uh, update on how the situation is. Yuki, rain <laughs> With the rain coming, things have been a little challenging for all the teams in tire choices. How are you doing? Yeah, very surprised because this situation, everyone not thinking about this. So, but uh, I have confidence because team is stronger. It's so anyway, full gas there. Yeah? All right, thank you so much, Yudis. All the best for the race. Uh, Yuki, so all the best for the race, and we are going to throw it back to Des and Steve in the studio. After 10 years, we have got a mistake from wheeling down on the pit lane. Terrific. <laughs> Something to rip ra her about. But for Yuki Ito and the riders, no joking matter, Steve Martin. They've still got the decisions. I'm just looking out. The drizzle is still out there. The, the, um, the, the umbrellas are out. Again, I'm, I'm keep going. I'm, I'm looking at you because you are mentally making decisions all the time here. I can see it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just looking at that grid now. There's a, there's definite rain falling. Um, yeah, I think now uh, before it, it's falling harder than it was. So the the smart choice now is wet weather tire. Everybody's gone with it, and if that's the case, that means that uh, the race will be the race anyway and um, we will run it and uh, whoever wins wins it, there will be no one who's going to run away with it uh, due to the fact that they've got a slick tire but i do remember a case back in 2007 at uh, mizano and world superbike where one guy put um, a, a slick tire in pierre francesco Killy and he was last on the first lap but he did win the race okay let's go down to the pit lane once again wheeling is talking to a uh, tj alberto All right, now on the grid, and this time with TJ Alberto. TJ, of course, the whole weekend we did not have a single drop of rain, but now in the last race of the week, we are looking at a wet race. Yeah, this is not the best way to test the bike, the completely new bike, new setting on the, the wet. But uh, I've always uh, been quite confident in the rain, so as long as I keep it on two wheels, I think I'll be able to score points today. Obviously, at the start of the week, you started with a brand new bike and everything is almost new to you. Now we're on Sunday towards the end of the race. How are you adjusting to the bike and also the race? Yeah, these last few days have been like a really big test for us. So every session we're improving and improving. So we're really uh, just looking forward to get past this weekend, uh, uh, understand what we learned and uh, go on to Australia. All right, thank you so much, TJ. All the best for your second race. And the rain is getting heavier down here on the grid. So back to Des and Steve in the studio. Thanks very much, Wheeling. Get yourself under an umbrella. So the Ducati's performance rain apart. Uh, how, how have you seen them so far this weekend, Steve? Yeah, I think they've been um, good considering, uh, you know, the lack of time that they've had on the track. Um, but uh, we've just had... Uh, the Dunlop news come in that uh, all of the riders have decided to go with the wet weather tyres. So um, I think it's a pretty smart choice looking at the rain falling on the circuit at the moment, Des. So, uh, yeah, I think the Ducatis have um, you know, been performing quite well and I expect them to be stronger. This is the 5.5 kilometre uh, Sepang International Circuit, 15 corners, the long straight as the penultimate just before the hairpin corner is a real feature of this. Team XOX supporters out in numbers in the grandstands. It's a healthy crowd here at Sepang. We're about 50 kilometers south of Kuala Lumpur itself. The rain when it comes down in this part of the world, Steve, I guarantee you, can be torrential. So um, I, I was... I was saying it's not so much look down on the surface, it's look up in the skies to see what the, the clouds are going to do and which way the wind is blowing. The strange part about this race is the fact that we are 
faced with a situation where 35% of the track is dry, 65% is wet. So what that actually means is that um, it could cause an issue. There could be some problems. Hello to Johnny Ray and the KRT staff and welcome to Thailand and Thai fans. There you go. That's uh, obviously to the world champion Kawasaki rider who uh, will be in Thailand uh, racing very shortly in, in front of uh, his... Uh, the, cr the crew there for the World Superbikes are about to uh, kick off in a couple of weeks. We don't want to take away from uh, Titipong. Aslan Shah Kamrazaman is the man who won yesterday's race. He is second on the grid. The Kawasaki of Titipong Watercorn is the man ahead of him. Aslan Shah timed it superbly yesterday in very diff different conditions. Zakwan Zaidi. Now, we, we were worried about Zakwan and his, his wrist injury. There was a problem with the bike, which we've not been able to get to, to the bottom of. Tell me about this Honda mystery. Yeah, well, it's um, it's a definite whatever it was. It didn't look like anything major. I think it was just a small little issue um, that, uh, you know, they've kept pretty much to themselves. So whatever the problem was yesterday, I can almost guarantee you that it won't happen today. But uh, Zakwan Zaidi, of course now heading out to in a situation that perhaps might help him because um, in these wet conditions a lot less um, force is needed to ride the bike it's a wet weather race as Ahmed Yudhisthira from the Victor racing team trying to learn as much as he possibly can about the bike and also chasing sponsorship he is on P4 Chaiwichit Nisikol, who crashed out yesterday in P5. He's on the second Kawasaki for the Kawasaki Thai racing team. We didn't really see the best of him. Next to them, your old mate, Brock Box. Yeah, there's Brock, uh, no stranger to riding in the wet. Probably hasn't ridden here in the wet too much. Um, you can just see the look of concentration on his face at the moment. Uh, a lot of changes were made, and I know that he found an improvement in the morning warm-up, but... Um, all for nothing now, wet conditions, it's a new day, new game, new, anything can happen now. Um, it just really does depend, Des, on who's got the right set up, because once again these bikes are a lot more adjustable, they all have um, a, a wet weather traction control, electronics and stuff like that, so it's just a big um, throw, everything you've got in the air, and whoever comes out with the best setup could win. Headlights are on, on the safety car. And it's gone dark outside as well. Conditions very, very different. Here they met to Asia Road Racing Championships. The Superbikes, the 1,000cc boys, they are in town here in Sepang, round one of this season's championship. The starting grid, Titipong Watercorn, who came second yesterday, a fine ride by him, but Aslan Shah, Kamru Zaman on the BMW, on debut, winning the inaugural 1,000 race. Zach Wanzadi crashed out yesterday, really curious to see how the Honda reacts today. Ahmed Yudhisthira, big fan of Ahmed Yudhisthira, for Victor Racing Team, looking to put himself in the spotlight. Chai Wichit, didn't see the best of Chai Wichit on the Kawasaki second chance for him and then Brock Parks the veteran from Australia from the Yamaha racing team ASEAN his teammate Yuki Ito crashed out on turn number nine yesterday unlike Yuki Ito to make a, a mistake like that Apiwat Wangtanam a former 250cc champion on the ARC circuit TJ Alberto on the first of the Ducatis lots of testing going on for Ducati Ratapong Willerot the champion in 600s uh, sorry 250 last year uh, he's on the Yamaha in P11, Farid Badrul Hisham, one of the locals on the 1XOX team uh, on the second BMW. Replacement rider for Victor Racing Team is Rajini Krishnan, who crashed out yesterday. He completes the uh, fourth row of the grid. And Jonathan Sarapika, who does a, a lot of laps around uh, this uh, Sepang circuit, he is in 13th on the grid. Picked up points yesterday, finished the race. So talk to me about the mentality of the riders at the moment. Are, are, are you being cautious? Are you, how, how does it work? Well, this warm up lap, firstly on the dry section, you need to uh, be very, very careful that uh, you, you can see, uh, you know,
know, some of the guys pushing a bit harder there. TJ, for example, on the Ducati was looking pretty comfortable there. I wouldn't be surprised to see someone like him come through because these are conditions that are throwing everything out of the, the ballpark. You know, a guy like TJ, probably nobody thinks he'd got a chance to win the championship this year, let's say, but if it all went right for him and the Ducati felt good, there's no reason why, you know, a race like this couldn't work in his favour. But, uh, you know, other guys out there just need to be smooth. You need to try and let somebody else set the pace and you need to follow. You can't afford to, to take too long to get comfortable um, and build up to your lap time at the same time. You've really got to just keep that uh, momentum happening and try and get to that uh, lap time rather than build into it. Otherwise, someone will be up the road and it'll be too hard to pace to chase it. But the thing with this wet weather is it's, uh, it's very tricky. You just do the same thing five times in a row and the sixth time, bang, you're off. So uh, I'm expecting to see a little bit of action. There is the winner from yesterday, Aslan Shah Kamrazaman, very much a, a local hero, local favourite in the veteran stages now at 35 years of age, but still leading the way. And Titipong Guadacom, one or two concerned looks from all the engineering staff. And safety car comes into view, headlights blaring. The red lights go off and we are underway. And it's a solid start from Titipong and a great start from behind him by Ahmed Yudhisthira. Ahmed Yudhisthira has come from a long way behind on the Victor motor racing side. Yuki Ito it is indeed who's come from third row of the grid and will take P3 going into the tentative turn P1. Absolutely, and uh, it was uh, Zakwan Zayedi who led the pack away there. Another Yamaha up the front there as well. That uh, could be Yuki to look how hard it's raining now. The rain is certainly coming down. That's the sort of changes that we're going to see in this race. But everybody has uh, picked the pace up. You can see them almost uh, with their knees on the ground. Look at the spray there. 76, it is Yuki Ito out front, of course, uh, with uh, Apuath uh, also in second position. So a great start by those two guys. Absolutely terrific start by them. They've decided they may as well gamble as uh, the rain isn't so heavy here. It will be interchangeable because this is a, a big... Um, a big track, a big circuit, and very, very changeable weather conditions already. There you can see the spray kicking up, which causes problems not so much in, uh, as only for grip, but in terms of visibility as well. No, absolutely. And also we've got uh, Farrell, Farid Farrell Hisham up there in third position as well. I told you that this can sort of bring out the best in some of the guys. And look at him, the number 83 machine has uh, got himself uh, from 11th on the grid up the field. So a great uh, first uh, part of the race for him. Zach Zaidi just dropping off of this uh, leading group at the moment. As they come round uh, corners 9 and 10, there's a, a bit of a lead. We won't look too much into this at the end of the first lap because conditions can be so changeable. There's 11 laps of this to go. Yuki Ito at the moment is uh, trailing Apiwa Montanan on the Thai in the Yamaha Thai racing team. I tell you what, though, Farid Badrul Hisham is looking very, very comfortable there. Look at him, he's looking for a way around the outside of everybody. So that's uh, pretty impressive. Got good corner speed there. He's already got his knee on the ground. That's part of the secret, to Des, is as soon as you can get your knee on the ground in these wet conditions, it gives you a, a bit of an extra judge, if you know what I mean. And you watch as the guys that get their knees on the ground in these conditions will actually... Um, and there he goes up the inside. Look at him. What a great first lap for the number 83, Farid Badrul Hisha. And he will be leading as they come through. And in second place, uh, Ito is in third. He had a great start. Second place, Apiwa Fontana, you said. There might be one or two uh, surprise positions. Aslan Shah Kamazaman's got himself through into fourth place ahead of Yudhisthira and Zach Wanzaidi. Chaiwachit in seventh. And uh, Sarapika has got himself up to ninth. And Titipong, who started on pole, down in eighth. But there is the rain. But Badrul Hisham is used to Malaysia. He is used to these conditions. Yeah, and I tell you what, uh, he's uh, certainly made the most of this. Look at the lead he's got. He's uh, really done that job of getting up to the, the lap time straight away. He's left everyone in his wake. But look at the field behind him all bunching together now. Oh, one of them's right, that could have been Yuki Ito, who's uh, run wide, but uh, that's allowed uh, Yudistra to go through, so that's uh, Yudistra now making a bit of move. Look at the difference in the track here, it's uh, almost dry. Incredible. 
60-30. Take your, take your pick. Let's make a gamble. There is Amadou Distira um, on the Victor Racing Team. He's currently in second place. Everyone obviously just a little bit wary, a little bit cautious, but Apiwat is in third and Yuki Ito is in fourth. It's completely reversing, I think, what we expected this 1,000cc to look like. But that is the, the joy and the gamble of rain. It certainly is, and the man making the most of that at the moment is uh, Farid Badrul Isham. He's doing a brilliant job, uh, of course. Uh, there's uh, Aslan Shah, the guy that uh, won yesterday's first inaugural race, uh, playing it pretty safe at the moment, I would say. P6 and 7, I believe, that they are chasing for. Um, Titipong is just behind him. Ahmad Yudhisthira goes through. Zakwan Zaidi under pressure. Well, he does need to be careful, does uh, Aslan Shah. I mean, uh, he's got a long year ahead of him. You can't afford to, to throw it away here. Some points, and you can just see there. Oh, my. That was a big uh, moment for um, Yudhisthira. But look at the lead for uh, Farid Badrul Hisham on the 1XOX TKKR side racing team. A long lead ahead of Ahmad Yudhisthira for Victor Racing. Ito is still hanging in there. Apiwat is in fourth place. Chai Wichit also not too far away. But Titipong, who's got bags of experience under his belt as well. As they come down the straight, there is, there is the problem for the riders, the rain. Oh, I mean, look how heavy that is. That is super heavy. And I mean, you can just see it now on the track there. That is so, so different conditions there. And what happens is, Des, is you'd start to aquaplane when it gets that uh, heavy. But uh, these Dunlop uh, tyres are doing a very good job of dispersing that water out there at the moment. We can see the yellow and red flag out there. That's just to let the riders know how wet the circuit is here. I mean, look at the difference from lap after lap. And we've got somebody off there. Did you see? I mean, oh! Well, Did that is not unexpected at all. Is it? Didn't thing? quite catch the number of that. It could have been Raji Krishnan, maybe. But, um, yeah, well, luckily, whoever it was managed to get themselves back up. Brock Parks is down in 10th place at the moment. Obviously, everyone's taking it very, very cautiously, apart from Farid Padrul Isha, who is almost in a race of his own. We're waiting for others to come into sight. And even if conditions improve... Well, he's got almost a six-second lead already. That's a very uh, impressive... Um, first lap but I mean it's exactly what I said at the start of this race Des is that in these conditions a guy like him um, it all just might click and it's clicked for him today and at the moment if he can hold it together he's going to win this race but the big question is is can he hold it together still a long long way to go as well as Amadou Distira leads through Zach Wanzaidi still tentatively and cautiously as you say that will help his wrist because he hasn't isn't having to work as hard no, absolutely not at the moment, but in this dry section, as these tyres do start to um, wear, because this dry section will wear the tyres, the bikes will be moving around more, and he'll have to use more strength as well. So if it was completely wet, I'd say yes, but with the conditions the way they are, it's very difficult for Zach Zoyedi out there at the moment. Former World Endurance Champion Steve Martin with the analysis of this wet race in the second ever 1000 cc at the asia road racing championships farad badrul hisham has almost two-thirds of that straight as a lead ahead of yuki ito that will be a six second plus lead ahead of ito ahmad yudhisthira is in there and chai widget is in fourth place and uh, the big names are just keeping their powder dry at the moment as they go through farad badrul is already through the lead is steve martin 8.2 seconds for Farid Badrul Hisham. Yeah, it's an incredible lead after such a short amount of laps. But uh, I'll tell you what, the fight for second place is, uh, is uh, pretty tough. There's uh, Thitipong just uh, rounding up around the outside of Yudhishthira now as well. So uh, Yuki Ito, he's obviously good in the way. Oh, we've got a baller. Is that... Uh, that's not Aslan Shah, is it? No, that's the leader. The it is Badrul. Farid Badrul Hisham. He gambled. Oh, we've got oh, another we've one got here. Another. Wow. Gosh, conditions clearly, clearly going the worst for wear. Not sure who that second fall was. It means Yuki Ito is okay, so Ito's in the lead. It might have been Yudhisthira. Have an idea, it's Ahmed Yudhisthira, who's another victim. Yudhisthira's gone down. 
So the first two both just sliding out, impossible conditions of control as they came down the hill. Well, when you're riding two seconds a lap quicker than everybody else, uh, there's a reason for it. You're risking a lot more, and he's uh, certainly risked a lot there. And uh, meanwhile, uh, Aslan Shah is uh, taking less risk and he needs to because he's uh, leading the championship at the moment. He needs to just uh, try and get to the end. But uh, he's going back now. Brock Parks is making his way forward through the uh, through the field. He's moved up into eighth in front of Aslan Shah. Very interesting that the, the two older guys, the 38-year-old and the 35-year-old, they're the ones who said, let's just see. Well, let's just wait. Because they've ridden in these conditions plenty of times before and they know how it plays out. That uh, Farid uh, Badrul Hisham uh, went from hero to zero in quite a short period of time. Big moment there by Yuki Ito, the electronics cutting in and saving him there. But uh, of course, uh, the Japanese rider will have ridden in plenty of uh, conditions similar to this back home. Just a case of measuring how much you can safely push it. But there's clearly wetter parts of the circuit uh, where the two crashed out is clearly incredibly treacherous. This penultimate straight and the corner and the home straight seem to be relatively good. It's on the back end of the, of, of the circuit that we've got the real problems. Ito leads from Zach Wanzani, Chai Wichit, and then look at this one. Titipong has made a real move into fourth place. Yeah, he's, uh, he's uh, coming on strong, isn't he, Titipong? Uh, after yesterday's strong results, uh, I think uh, he's been smart. He's let it come to him, but he's just had that little moment. Um, and uh, it's uh, going to be good to see him as uh, with seven laps as we head to six laps remaining after this one, I think. It's a two and a half second lead, nearly 2.27 between Yuki Ito and Zach Wanzaidi. Chai Wichit, Titipong, Apiwat are through. Brock Parks is through as well, as is Aslan Shah and Ratapong. But stay on the bike, pick up some points. This is the part of the circuit, though. Look how wet it is here, how much it's raining. It's almost like you come into a, a wall of water at this point of the circuit. Everybody having to be just so careful here. This is where we saw the other guys um, uh, fall off right at that point there, just out of turn four. Or, uh, sorry, turn three. And now we're up into turn four. The top e of the hill. Ito does caution. Apiwat caut caution as well. 23 is Parks, who's making a few moves. He's up into P6 at the moment, Brock Parks, but it is a, an incredibly treacherous part of the track. But I think that's the worst part there. That's where the aquaplaning is. And without being able to relax, you can open the throttle a little bit. The problem that they've got, though, is, is that this is what wet weather tyres are made for. So the tire, if the track was wet like this, no problem. But they go from this onto that dry part, and that rips the tyre apart. So the, the, the tread is flying off the tyre from the dry part. When they get back into there, they've got less um, water dispersion. So as the race goes on, it's going to get worse for them in that wet spot. There is Zach Wanzani, currently in P2, Zach Wan. Now he's looked pretty smooth throughout this race. Uh, hasn't put a wheel wrong. Uh, really doing a good job um, after the disappointment of yesterday. It just looks planted. Um, the bike looks very smooth and controlled. Um, and uh, you know, I think uh, he's in you know a good position at the moment. But the Kawasaki's uh, behind. Chikawit Nisikul is looking uh, very uh, menacing. This is Zakwan's team management. I think pretty happy with his work. Chai Wichit is also just playing the weather very nicely. Zakwan takes a nice line. Yuki Ito, he's got experience as well, Yuki Ito. And uh, a lead of 2.27 seconds at the end of the previous lap. There's still a long way to go. There's still a lot of racing, a lot of potential accident spots. Oh, absolutely. Especially when you've got a guy like uh, Zakwan Zaidi there in second position. He'd love to win this race, so he'll be just, although he looks smooth, he'll be pushing just that little bit more to try and catch up to Yuki Ito. We've already seen Yuki uh, moving around and have a few little twitches here and there. Um, Chai Wichert, of course, in third position. I mean, can you imagine what his thoughts are right now? He's in a podium position in this race. Well, Zakon caught a second up on Yuki Ito on that last lap, and he's dragged both Chai Wichert and Titipong with him. Um, Brock Parks and Ratapong are making strides in, but going backwards is Aslan Shah Kamruzaman. So TJ Alberto on the Ducati is ahead of Aslan Shah. I think something has happened to Aslan Shah. We unseen, but Aslan Shah is not on the leaderboard at the moment. 
and that is potentially crucial in the overall championship. Yeah. Yudhisthira is back in the pits. Yeah, good to see he's OK, but uh, a sad end to what could have been a very good weekend for him. Titi Pong, what a weekend he's had. He's one spot off of another podium at the moment. Aslan Shah oh. goes into the pits. Now, that's bad news and good news. The good news is he's not off the bike. The bad news is he is now. Well, I wonder if they can try and sort the problem out. No, he's uh, not happy with something. He, he, well, if I was him, if I was his team manager, I would have told him to stay on that bike. Just get some points in well, this season. There's been a few people that have crashed, so if he'd have just finished the race, he would have got points. So uh, hopefully that doesn't come back to bite him later in the season. Big moment there by Titi Pong. He's really starting to put the, uh, the, the pressure on, and uh, boy, is he riding close to the limit, Des. The guys are putting the knees down in this weather. Are they insane? Oh, well, I've done it before. I didn't think I was insane then, but I'll tell you what, they look insane to me. <laughs> Yuki Ito leads. He's been pretty much faultless, as has Zach Wanzaidi. Let's have a look at um, Titipongo, yes. Just the rear end stepped out there, a little bit of aquaplaning, um, and you can see how violent it, ha it uh, lets go in the wet. It's, uh, and that is, that's the big problem. It, it lets go really violently, and boom. Normally you don't get away with that, but uh, Titi Bong got lucky that time. Zakran Zaidi now, it's looking a lot wetter in this part of the circuit too now, isn't it? It's, uh, it's really starting to come over now. Well, the rain is coming over the track. It's slowly making its way, and I suspect we're going to get a, a full track deluge fairly soon. But Ito goes through, the lead is 1.22 ahead of Zakran Zaidi. Titi Bong is in third place. He's gone ahead of Chai Widget, and Abiwak is there. And Brock Parks, 12 seconds adrift. He'll think that he's still in this race, Brock Parks. Yeah, absolutely. He's um, probably got a... Uh, he can probably catch up to Ipiwat in front of him, but, uh, but other than that, the other guys up in front, uh, boy, he's going to have to pull something out pretty special. He could do it. You can do it in the wet, but it's just so wet out there now that the lap times, they have to slow down. Jai Witchett taking a real gamble there, getting right on the back of Titipong, and actually having a look on the inside, Titipong closes the door in the wet weather. The, the visibility on the visors as the spray kicks up and the rain comes into your to your visor as well, that's an added hazard. Yeah, absolutely. I, I just can't believe Chai Witchett. He's doing a, a, a brilliant job out there. A really brilliant job uh, to, to start with these, I don't want to say bigger name riders, but more, more known riders. And uh, he's right there. He's in fourth place at the moment behind Titipong. Zach Wanzaidi ahead of him. Still Yuki Ito leads the way. Aslan Shah, Kamru Zaman has stayed in the pits. There will be zero points today for Aslan Shah. Zero points for Farad Badrul Hisham. The BMWs are both out of the race. The Ducatis, they're just hanging in there. Jonathan Serapica and TJ Alberto just making sure they stay on the track, pick up points, learn as much as they can from race conditions, difficult race conditions as they are. Even our cameras getting splattered in the, in the wet. Well, that's what TJ Alberto said he needed to do. He said, if I can stay on the bike, I'm going to get points. And uh, he's doing that right now. Jonathan Serapica is uh, doing a good job as well. He's moved himself up into eighth position. So that's a, a great job by him. Um, and he's uh, trying to chase down Rathapong Willerot, who's in front of him. Seventh place for Rathapong Willerot, who knows uh, no Southeast Asian like the back of his hand, but the weather conditions always make it particularly difficult. Now then, Ito has been leading now for three laps after this corner. They will be coming into the home straight, and it'll be four to go after that. Zach Wanzaidi, steady Eddie, has just remained in relatively close contact. Ito leading, the gap was 1.2, it's now up to 1.4, but in these conditions, Zakwan might feel that there's an opportunity later on, but you don't want to throw points away by crashing. No, and it's just so easy to do. You think that you're in front, you think you're not taking a risk, and before you know it, you're sliding uh, down the road. Uh, there's uh, Rajan Krishnan, he's uh, still out there getting points. Look at that sliding sideways onto the ripple strip. All oh, that is so lucky. There's not a lot of grip out there on the paint, but he manages to get away with it and uh, tips it in. Nice little uh, look at uh, Raji Nin Krishnan there. He's in as a replacement. He's probably going to flip it. What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> 
Up at the front, though, Yuki Ito still leading, really good. Titipong is taken by Chai Wichit. Chai Wichit Nisikol. Whoa, that nearly lost loaded. the back end. If you have a look at um, the knee scrapers on Zakran Zaidi as well, on the on his knees, he's got the wet weather knee scrapers on, which are like two times as thick. Oh, that's one of the Ducatis down. Is that, um, I think that is, um, that's, well, I'm not sure which one it is, but. Uh, it's uh, Serapica, Jonathan yeah. Serapica. They're trying to get him back out, and they've got to work through the gravel. Are they able just to get enough traction? I think they're going to get him back on the track, or are they? Come on, Jonathan, work it, work it. <laughs> well, he's, uh, he's got it back out there, which is good to see. Um, he wants to finish this race. We heard him, his teammate at the start of the race saying how much he wanted to finish. I'm sure Jonathan was in a great spot on track, so he'll be giving it everything he can as well. But uh, Yuki Ito, what do you say? It's a flawless uh, race for the two guys out front at the moment. Uh, they just haven't put a foot wrong. But it's not them that's the problem. No. <laughs> As Ito comes into the penultimate straight once again, it's a long straight. They'll be delighted to see the straight. Not a lot can go wrong on a straight. <laughs> you say that now, but wait. It's the end bits of the straights <laughs> before the corners where it all goes wrong. When someone pulls up next to you and tries to dive up the inside of you, but uh, really hard on the brakes. You can just see him squirming around there, tips it in. Um, and uh, he's got the big knee sliders on too. You can see they're almost two times as fat as the normal ones. Beautiful exit there as he heads down the, onto the uh, start finish straight over the line. Three laps to go. The longest three laps of his life, I might add, Des. Zakwan has stayed close. Zakwan is a second only adrift, just a 9.63. Titipong not too far behind them, and Chai Wichit has dropped from third to fourth. Chai Wichit got ahead of Titipong. Enjoying this as we keep on the Honda of uh, Zach Wanzaidi. I guess my question is, is if you try with Chitwick, what do you what do you do? I mean, you're so close to getting on the podium. Uh, do you risk it all and um, risk colliding with uh, your, his teammate Titi Pong? Is, would he do that? I mean, he almost has the he almost has the pace to to be able to do it but uh, it wouldn't be too popular when he went into the pit box afterwards if he did that. So uh, he does look like he's moving around a little bit there. And the, get fourth. the gap is closing. Zakwan is getting a little bit braver. This is the battle for P1. UK Ito has uh, not really had any pressure. That's an interesting one. Zakwan just saying, I'm here, I'm here, Yuki. Well, the pressure is about to mount, I think, because uh, it looks like Zakwan Zoidi, as you said, is right on the back wheel now of Yuki Ito. He's just getting that little bit braver, and uh, any second, I think he's going to go for the move. He's either going to sit there, or he's going to get past him and try and uh, pull away. At this stage, just sitting, but clearly believing that he can put pressure on Yuki Ito as they come into turn nine. Sharp right, 10, 11, as they're just building up for the long straight. Maybe Zach one is just having a little look to see how much straight line speed he has got on that long straight. Yes, well, normally, normally the Yamaha is a little bit quicker and the Honda should handle it a little bit sweeter. And that has uh, been the tradition for a while now. And uh, it's certainly paying off around the back of the circuit for Zach one Zaidi. Uh, he's still looking as solid as can be. Um, Chai Wichit in the background now has uh, really started to drop off of the leading trio, so I think he's uh, settled for fourth place at the moment, but uh, back out front as the laps uh, go down. Zakwan Zaidi now up the inside, and he's made that move. He's got in really deep. You can see him for the first time. He's uh, out sideways, but uh, he's pulled that uh, manoeuvre off and uh, taken the lead. Now we're going to see some uh, sparks fly. It's one thing to follow in the wet, but it's another to lead. What has Yuki Ito got up his sleeve? But look at Zakwan Zaidi. He's really pulled out a massive gap in one corner. Fabulous from Zakwan Zaidi. A lap time forward as we have uh, another casualty. That's uh, Jonathan Serapica. Jonathan Serapica, yes. <laughs> Difficult to stay on there. But Zach Wanzaidi, at this stage, no problem staying on. We're into two laps from home. The rain is still steepling down. It is a, a wet race. I think that's obvious for everybody to see. But Zach Wanzaidi is coping with the wet weather perfectly. He's a young rider with a really, really uh, competent brain. 
racing green on his shoulders. Yuki Ito's in trouble again because it looks like Thitipong wants to have a bit of a go now. Thitipong is uh, just uh, looking up the inside there. So uh, while Zach wants Aida, he seems to have something in hand and he's putting a uh, bit of pensive looks in the in the uh, HRC box down there. But uh, Thitipong has moved in front now. So he's moved in front. Uh, Yuki Ito starting to struggle. Zach won though. Can he hold it solid for the final lap and a half? The lead he had was half a second from Yuki Ito, and he looks like he's extended that lead. Well, the thing is, is that he has no idea how much of a gap that he's got now. He's, so he is pushing on the limit and over the limit, thinking that Yuki Ito is right on his back wheel. So until he goes past the start-finish line and gets the gap uh, on his uh, board, this is a big risky moment for him in this race. Halfway through the penultimate lap, and Ito is now under pressure by Chai Wichit. As you say, Yuka Ito has gone backwards since he was overtaken by Zach Wanzaidi. It's all been negative for the Japanese racer, the well, Yamaha racing team, Asian. Yeah, Yuki Ito is uh, stuck in the two minute 30 bracket. Everyone else has uh, picked it up a couple of seconds a lap now. Um, although Yuki Ito has done a 228 for one reason or another, right at this point in time, he's only comfortable doing two minute 30. Everyone around him, is happy to a 228. So uh, Yuki Ito is about to get eaten up by uh, by the uh, other man, and here it goes uh, down the straight now. But uh, Zakun Zaidi in a pretty good position. A no slide there looks to be rock steady as he comes round the hairpin at the end and will go into the home straight for the penultimate time. So it is Zakun Zaidi who has a lead, and it's quite a considerable lead. Think. That's great advice. You just keep that brain ticking over. Nothing too fancy. Your lead is 3.1 seconds. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, he's still going in quite deep into turn one there. Knee on the ground through turn one. How much spray do you like? It's as wet as wet can be out there at the moment, but uh, he's uh, not slowing down there on the final lap of this race. He's giving it absolutely everything through this section. I'm not so sure he knows how much of a lead he's got. Three seconds is the lead, 3.1 seconds. Seconds and Ito just holding off Chai Wichit. Oh, oh and Chai Wichit goes, uh, pushing just a little bit too far. There is the danger. Chai Wichit misses his chance of a podium. Ito is now into third place. And that's what it takes. You just think that you're so far away from the limit, you push that little bit more because it feels slow compared to the dry, and bang, before you know it, you're hitting the ground with your fist, it's all over. Be careful, Zach Wanzaini. The race is yours, barring a mistake, just as we've seen from Chai Wichit. Sliding out, Zach Wan. I wouldn't say cautiously goes into there, but he's gone a little bit wide and... Yeah, he's, 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 he's on it, he's had a look over his shoulder, he can see no one's there. It, but uh, he knows now, he knows he's got enough of a gap. Uh, he's just got to try and hold it all together. But sometimes that is uh, harder than it sounds. As he heads up through turn nine and into turn 10, it's uh, not much further to go for him now. Just downhill, a little bit off camber at this point of the circuit. Loads the front. You can just see the front working away there on that uh, on the CBR 1000. Big squirt on the brakes again, hard on the brakes, tipping it in, just um, feathering it, uh, trying to keep it as upright as he can, doing everything. He's got everything crossed out there at the moment, Des. This right-hander, he knows he's almost home now as he heads down this back straight for the final time. And he doesn't even need to look over his shoulder. He knows there's clear ground behind him. Zach Wanzaini, this has been a consummate race in hugely difficult positions. His pit lane crew are now getting ready to celebrate a P1, a 25-pointer for Zach Wanzaini. He crashed out yesterday. We didn't really know why. He's got it all right this time. Zach Wanzaini of Malaysia. Honda Asia Racing Dream Team with Shower takes the victory. And a fabulous 25 points for Zakwon. Titipong in second, and Yuki Ito takes third. Yeah, what an impressive ride by Zakwon Zaidi there. That was uh, brilliant stuff by him to uh, win this one in what was uh, treacherous, difficult conditions out there on track. And boy, uh, it was uh, raining pretty hard at some points throughout that race. Uh, Team Honda, how happy are they with that? That's an incredible result for them. They worked hard all weekend. They had so much disappointment yesterday. And uh, I tell you what, Zachman Zaidi certainly deserved that one. And uh, 
you know what? It, that was uh, probably not the way that these guys were expecting to run this race after the perfect uh, conditions that we've had uh, throughout the weekend. Uh, to finish off with a wet race, wow. Brock Parks has finished in fifth place, 29 seconds down, just behind Apiwat Wang Tanan. We're still waiting for Rattapong to come in, but Chai Wichit is out. This is for P7. And a sprint forward there for, look at that, TJ Alberto picking P6 ahead of Rattapong. So that's a, a great result for the Filipino on the Ducati. That'll send him into fine fettle going down to Adelaide. <laughs> Absolutely. He certainly had a, a, a spit of speed on board there as he shot out of the last corner. I don't think Rathbon Willerat was expecting that. Best lap of the race, a 227.3, Des. I don't think I could even do that in the dry. So that's a pretty impressive lap time, isn't it? And Zach Wintzaidi, he knows it too. Um, absolutely incredible stuff. Uh, they call the team the Honda Asia Dream Racing with shower, and I'll tell you what, that was a dream ride. And there was a shower. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic, Zach Wanzaidi. Wasn't the thrill a minute? It was cautious. He he came out out of the out of the blocks very slowly. He was organised. He understood what the conditions can be like here in Malaysia. Obviously, you gamble. If it dries up, then it, uh, you've made the wrong gamble. But it did get wetter, and the rain continued to come down. And this is the final result. Zach Wanzaidi, Honda Asia Dream Racing with Shower. He wins it ahead of Titipong Guadacorn. Yuki Ito on the Yamaha third. Apiwat fourth, also on the Yamaha. Brock Parks, nearly 30 seconds down in fifth place. TJ Alberto, fabulous results on the Ducati in sixth. Ratapong just beaten in that sprint for the line seventh. And Rajini Krishnan, he's got a finish as well. Eight points on the Victor Racing team. Chai Wichit crashed out, zero points for him. Jonathan Sarapika crashed out not once but twice. And Aslan Shah, Kamru Zaman, that's the interesting one. He pulled up, um, he could perhaps have continued. That is one for an inquest later on, but no points for him. He won yesterday. Today, it's all about Zach Wanzaidi. Yeah, absolutely. That was, once again, an absolute brilliant uh, result by Zach Wanzaidi. Did the Pong Warakorn as well. Well, you know, he's had a really good weekend um, after yesterday's result. Second yesterday, second today. Um, you know, that's got to bode well for him for the championship. I'd say that he's leading the championship at the moment on 40 points. Uh, Yuki Ito, well, he was looking very strong early on in the race, uh, but uh, drifted back through the pack. Appleworth, well, once again, a good result for him. Brock Parks, question marks to be asked there. You know, like probably expected a bit more of Brock this weekend, but... Uh, Nevertheless, he's new to the championship, new to the team. So, uh, you know, it's a long year. And for Brock, he's picked up a third yesterday. He's picked up 27 points overall. If you're disappointed, he's not. He's second in the championship well, standings. <laughs> you can't do much more than that, can you? <laughs> That's a pretty good result for him overall. And um, I think uh, TJ, he said at the start of the race, uh, TJ Alberto, uh, he said, you know, if I can just finish uh, and get some experience, you know, I might get some points. Well, he got, he did better than that. He ended up uh, six in the championship, uh, six in the race, uh, which is very, very impressive for, un with the conditions that we had out there, beating guys like uh, Rathabong Willerot. So, um, good result to the new caddy. Here comes Zach Anxiety. He's not scared of twisting that wrist right now, is he? Great result. How happy are they? That's a brilliant drive, brilliant drive, superb. And alongside him, I think uh, Titipon can look back on his weekend's work as well. Pretty happy, two second places for him. Might have been two first, well, yesterday might have been a first, but uh, two seconds for him, that's uh, a nice welcome back to Asia. And Ito as well, a DNF yesterday, 16 points today. Asia Dream Racing by Shower, good result. Fujiwara looks a little bit wet too. Everybody looks wet. Has it stopped raining? No, there's still a little bit of drizzle there, but largely stopped raining. And Zach won, what a return. He did no testing either. He was still recovering from that wrist injury that he received last year when he was riding his 600. So for him to jump straight on this 1,000cc machine, uh, brilliant job. Yuki Ito, he'll be smiling more than he was yesterday too, Des. Certainly, certainly crashed out on turn nine yesterday, went well positioned. Today, rode a conservative race, was leading for a long time, but once Akwanzadi went past him, 
Um, then he was dr dropping down, but to finish on the podium is an excellent result for him. Amidst all the mayhem, amidst all the hugs, and amidst all the rain, I think Hui Ling is down in the park for me. Um, she's just trying to attract Zakwan's attention, uh, but she has been able to get hold of third place, Yuki Ito, and let's uh, see what he has to say. Okay, down here with third place winner, Yuki Ito. Yuki, congratulations, first podium of 2019. Not the easiest race. How do you manage to hang on to the bike? Yeah, so anyway, very difficult because everyone first time in this situation is so, uh, uh, yeah, Taya is a character, I don't know. So I make in the pace, but uh, uh, anyway, uh, if uh, try to push and uh, maybe easy crash there after this is so, uh, but finally I take the uh, podium. I'm so happy. So. Uh, I, I wanted to thank you, my team. All right, congratulations, Yuki Ito. We'll see you on the podium. Coming in second place today, picking up his second podium of the weekend, Titi Pong Waragon. Titi Pong, similar to every, everyone struggling during the start of the race, how did you finish second? Yeah, me for the start the lead, me take care a lot because me have the fight. I need to finish because I need to get the champion all the season. Yet I take care a lot, but a lot of people bad me a lot. <laughs> like I me, like I lose a lot, like a eight position, and me tie I put more, 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 and uh, say hello, Johnny Lia and uh, fan Thailand in uh, looking to me late today. But thank you very much, I'm a big fan. And I'm doing my best. But I'm a little bit nervous. I'm not going to be able to win. เลยทำให้ที่หนึ่งออกไปค่อนข้างไกลหน่อยหนึ่งก็เลยประคองให้จบที่2ครับแต่ว่าตอนนี้คะแนนนําอยู่ครับงั้นก็ฝากเป็นกําลังใจให้ด้วยครับผมขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณทีมควาสกิทายแลนด์เซ็งทีมนะครับแล้วก็สปอนเซอร์ต่างๆครับพีทีลูพีแคนนะครับแล้วก็โชว่าโยชิโมระแล้วก็ต่างๆที่ให้สนับสนุนเข้ามาครับงั้นก็ทําเต็มที่ครับขอบคุณกําลังใจทุกๆท่านด้วยครับแฟนๆชาวไทยขอบคุณมากครับ I thank you so much Titi Bong and today's race winner Mama Zakwan Zaidi, Zakwan, a good comeback after having bike problems yesterday. Picking up your first win, and you're the only Honda rider out there on track. Firstly, I want to thank uh, Honda for giving me this opportunity, and also all my sponsors, and also all my friends. Thanks very much. I'm very happy today because it takes a long time to, to get this podium, and also this, this is why I dream. So... I'm very happy because I the only Honda rider, so I give my best and also thank you very much. <laughs> all right. All right. Congratulations, Zakon. We'll see all three riders on the podium shortly. We certainly will. Before that, I hope to be able to go through the highlights of what was a, a really interesting. I use that word in the in the in the best possible way. The rain made it incredibly interesting. A sudden shower just before the start of the race meant that the riders were forced into a decision. Do I go wet tyres? Do I gamble on slicks? In the end, Steve Martin, they all went with wet tyres, but that didn't stop some real crashes. No, it certainly didn't. Meng Heng made the right choice and said that they should be on wet, and they all were as they headed into turn one. It was Zakran Zaidi who took the lead, but boy, it didn't take long before the Yamahas snuck through, and Yuki Ito took the initiative early on. The rain came down hard. It was a really strange race, really. But raining on this part of the circuit, and the other side it was nice and dry. So the guys had a lot to contend with out there on track. It was uh, the number 83, Farid Badrul Hisham, who took a spill early on after he had an eight second lead. I bet he's thinking about that when he goes to bed tonight. But you may as well go for it and straight behind him as well as Badrol. It was the other one, uh, Amadou Destira. He was also trying to set the pace. Then Aslan Shah Kamru Zaman. Well, that was a mechanical uh, failure rather than anything else. It meant that UK Ito was left in the lead, but very aware that there were parts of this track where you would aquaplane. 
Absolutely. The Ducati went down a couple of times. That was uh, Serapica who went down uh, two times. Jonathan Serapica tasting the dust. Uh, not a good weekend for him. But meanwhile, back out front, Zachwin Zaidi was uh, just riding absolutely impeccable. With one lap to go, we wondered if he knew the lead that he had. It was out to three seconds at one point. Then in the background, another rider went down. Chai Witchett uh, crashed out of a certain fourth position. And you can see he wasn't too happy about that. There were five DNFs. Uh, Jonathan Serapica would be the fifth one. We've seen the other four, but Zach Wanzidi carefully negotiates the final corner and comes home to tumultuous applause here at Sepang in front of his home. The only Honda on the grid, and the Honda is the one that takes number one. A brilliant performance by Zach Wanzidi to take the second ever Superbikes race on the Asia Road Racing Championships. And now it stopped raining, of course. <laughs> they did it just to entertain us. That's what happened, Steve Martin. It was certainly entertaining. Here is Yuki Ito, pretty happy with his third place. Uh, a good recovery from him yesterday uh, as well after crashing out yesterday. Ito on the podium. Alongside of him for the second time, Titipong Wadakorn. He's a tall man, he's a taller man than he seems, but Zach Wanzaidi. He really is a top, top rider. And we've talked about Aslan Shah Kamrizaman in Malaysia for many, many years. But now we're talking about Zach Wanzaidi in the same breath. And the victory will go to the Honda side. The Nagaraku, the Malaysian national anthem, will see us out. Congratulations to Zach Wanzaidi. The prize giving by Shin Obata, the managing director of Idemetsu Lube. Again, our thanks to Idemetsu. Motor racing, as all sports, really does need sponsors to support it. But when you get racing as good as we've had on the first two races of this Asia Road Racing Championship, Steve Martin, then the sponsors should come, come very, very quickly because it's been really, really good stuff. Yeah, absolutely. It was an incredible, uh, an incredible display in all classes. Um, and to be topped off with a race like we had, completely different conditions, a winner like Zach Wanzaidi, I think everybody's had a pretty good day. <laughs> One or two haven't. <laughs> One or two are worrying about, about, about the wet. But for Honda, it's a, a good finale for them. For Malaysia, it's good for the ARRC back at Sepang. It's brilliant to be back here again. We will be returning to Sepang later on in the year. But for Zach Wanzaidi, top of the podium, alongside Yuki Ito and Titipong Wadakorn. Uh, In the overall standings, Titipong is top of the pile with 40 points. And second place is Brock Parks on 27. That's the end of our coverage here from Sepang. We do hope you've enjoyed the first two days.